G'day, I'm Gary Pike. With Cartoon Animator 5, you have complete control over every aspect of your character's face animation, thanks to the facial detail settings. And today, I'm going to show you how to control just the eyeballs, because sometimes when your character's animating, you don't necessarily want the whole head to move around, you just want the eyes to move on their own. And I'm going to show you how to do that now with the facial animation. So come across to Cartoon Animator with me and I'll show you. On screen here, we have Anita. And if we select that character and open Anita's timeline track down the bottom and open the face panel, you'll need to open the facial clip settings. In there, you've got three settings, head, face, and eye. And today, we're going to be working just with the eye track. So select that, and then open your face key editor. The face key editor gives you four different ways that you can control every single component on your actor's face. Starting with the Morph tab, if you select by left clicking the eyes, and then around the dark section around the model of the template head, if you hold down your left mouse button and drag, so Anita's eyes will move around. So that's how you move just the eyeballs. Now moving them is one thing, but you might want to have them in the animation. You want to know exactly how to keyframe them to get them to move when you want. Down on the eye timeline track, if we move ahead to say frame 30 and we have Anita then look to the side, you'll see when I take my finger off the left mouse button down, if you keep your eye on the eye timeline track, a keyframe will appear now. Okay, there it is. That's Cartoon Animator telling just the eyeballs because this timeline track is responsible only for the eyeballs, nothing else about the character. So this is Cartoon Animator telling the eyeballs that at frame zero, have the eyeballs in that position, and then by the time we get to frame 30, move to that position. So when we play it, you get the nice smooth motion of the eyes. That means that after frame 30, if we go along to say frame 50, and in the face key editor, again in the gray area, hold down your left mouse, left mouse button, click and drag to wherever you want. Now from frame 30, when we scroll across to the side, over to frame 50, the eyes are going to move up into the new position. So again, if we scroll, if we play it back, it's gonna move and it's gonna move up like that. Okay, now say for instance, at frame 50, we actually wanted the eyes to hold at that position for a second before it moves on to the next one. That's easy enough. Move on to however many frames you want. Let's move ahead 10 frames. At this point, if you just hit V on the keyboard, it's going to put in a new keyframe and the, there's no motion between frame 50 and frame 60. So therefore the eyeballs will hold position during that time. Then if we move forward to frame 80 and we change the position of the eyes to somewhere else, you're going to see that keyframe appear. So what happens is now we go from zero to frame 30 and we move to the side. Then from frame 30 to frame 50, we move up to the top. From frame 50 to frame 60, we hold position. And from frame 60 to 80, we move down. So that your end animation looks like this. Across, up, hold, down. That's how you control your eye movements. It's really, really quite easy. That's, that's all there is to it. That's for your eyeballs. The other um, tabs up here for template, transform, and deform, they're more involved with the shape of the overall eye rather than just the eyeball movement. So we'll do that in another video. But by doing your eye motion, getting the head turn along with the eye motion, you can, you can eventually get some really cool animation like this. So that's it. That's how you do the eye motion. I hope that this video has been helpful for you. We're going to have lots more short tutorials that show you individual parts of Cartoon Animator to get the most out of your animation. Thanks for watching. Bye.